The Perth Football Club has been starved of final success for a long time. Over the past 10 years, the highest they've finished in the waffle competition is fifth in 2002 under coach Stan Magro. But the Perth Club is a very proud football club and won't dwell in the past, for the success is growing in the future. Today on Halftime of the Footy, we speak to the Perth Footy Club about how they're changing things on and off the field. Perth Football Club last won a premiership in the Waffle in 1977. Back then, the Perth Demon fans would come to the game in their thousands, dressed in red and black, hoping to see their team win or at least get a glimpse or an autograph of their star player, Barry Cable. But that was a long time ago, and since then, there has been plenty of good players, but Premier success has escaped them. Wiley, the opportunist, magnificent goal. Oh. Uh, why do you got the first goal? Because what do you do? Just went straight, played on straight away, got a goal, caught these guys napping, yeah? So let's look at trying to speed the process up. Damien McMahon is now the new coach of the Perth Demons, and he wants to lead his team back into finals action. It's something that uh, I suppose every Perth supporter out there uh, wants to see Perth play finals. It's something that uh, in my first year certainly didn't call, set the goal of setting finals. It's something that um, I've said since the day I started the job that I wanted to win more games than we lose and if we could manage to do that we will put us very close to playing finals footy and hence my goal to go into uh, the halfway mark to be 5-5. Five and five. It's sort of, you know, at least something we can tick off for the first half of the season. Sure, we've lost some games we shouldn't have. Uh, probably the Swan Districts ones, for example, but uh, you know to win three in a row um, in the early part of the season was a great result. Sure, we had uh, a tough time over the last month, but the bounce back, back last week against Subiaco, the manner we did, uh, was a great result for us and important. Now we gain some momentum going into the buy in a couple of weeks' time. You know, we're trying to build a platform for long-term success, not just in the short term, but you know, hopefully over the next, you know, four, five, six seasons, we can be a real competitive unit that builds towards playing regular finals footy and. Hopefully one day, ultimately, to uh, you know get a premiership, which is you know what what this footy club's uh, been hanging out for for so long. When Damien McMahon was given the job as senior coach at the end of season 2010, his priorities laid in changing the club and its players' culture from the inside. We we'll probably started from scratch as far as uh, a new footy manager. Uh, we have a whole new coaching group, new strength and, strength and conditioning coach, a new physio. Pretty much everyone that started with me is uh, you know, new to the club or, or in a new role at least. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole coaching, uh, coaching restructure, I suppose you'd say, which has uh, you know, been well received from our playing group. We've really heavily focused on our club culture, which is something our club's been perceived as being very poor in the past. And uh, I'd like to think so far that's been my greatest achievement so far at this footy club in our first six months of you know, really trying to change you know, the way we perceived and uh, become more of a professional organisation, which you know, I think we're, we're managing to do so uh, very quickly. And I think by the end of the season we'll be probably where we need to be as far as where, we, where our club culture sits. That's something that probably I took into my uh, presentation when I went for the job, you know, things that I, I suppose I had an in-house knowledge of being here for uh, the eight years that I've been here. And, you know, it's been evident in my time that uh, if I was ever to be given a coaching job that uh, that would be one of the first things I'd go about trying to change at our footy club because uh, I think without it, it's very hard to get uh, ongoing support and, uh, and long-term results and uh, ultimately that's what we're here for. You know, to be sitting uh, four and five at this stage is, is a reasonable result. We'd like to go one better next week and make it five and five at the midway mark of the season. Give it some thought and have a practice. Let's go. McMahon has great confidence in his charges and their untapped talent as a player group. They're definitely talented, there's no doubt about it. It's, we're very young, very inexperienced, uh, lack of uh, 100 game players. Uh, we've got a few players that are about to tick over 100 games later this season, but uh, you know, when you look at the side we're up against on the weekend, I think they had 10 players that have played 100 games or more, and you know, Chaddy Cosson retiring with 215 games. We just don't have anything to get close to that. So yeah, as far as the talent's concerned, yeah, it's, it's untapped talent, most of it. But um, you know, a lot of these guys have only played four or five games, and um, you know, those guys went a long way to helping us win on, on the weekend. So it's a matter of uh, me as a coach getting 50 games into these guys as quick as we possibly can. And uh, by the time we do that, we'd like to think that uh, if we can maintain our current crop uh, and add a few more of our young talented players that are coming through our junior programs at the moment, that yeah, we could definitely have uh, a talented group, you know, good enough to take us where we need to be. 
Do the players also realise how long the supporters have been waiting for success? I'm sure some of them do. Uh, you know, when you see a guy like Stephen Armstrong, our captain of our footy club, um, I suppose coming from a family that's uh, renowned for its its club, you know, its history at this footy club, and uh, you know, having you know be part of a real successful era of the club, uh, you know, that filters back to our players, and you know, I suppose they see the frustration of our supporters on a on a weekly basis when they don't perform as well as maybe they'd like them to. Uh, you know, that's. That's very evident that uh, they are a frustrated group, and uh, you know they're really keen to turn that around and and give us give them something to cheer for, like they had on the weekend on a more regular basis. Because, as I said, it's, it has been a long time, and uh, you know no one more than myself would love to see us play finals footy and uh, you know become a real force in the competition. You know whether that's this year or in years to come, it's something that we're really striving towards. Club captain Stephen Armstrong, as a player, would like more than others to see finals action. Oh, you don't have to tell me that. Uh, my, with my granddad winning the last two premierships, and that's going back 76, 77, um, I know they want success um, probably more than we do, but it's not going to happen like that. So we need, I'm not sure if Damo mentioned before, but we've had probably five, six coaches the last 10 years, so it changes every two years. So hopefully we get a bit of stability in the next couple of years, same coach, same group of players, and then hopefully we start seeing the rewards. Well, we started getting goals, yeah, simply because we get, went quick go quick and it's a lot harder to defend, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a great group and we've seen in a couple of games our best football goes a long way to us winning a game. So but I'd like to be competitive in the next couple of years or next couple sorry, next couple of weeks against the Claremonts and the East Fremantles and and the top four bracket rather than just hopefully beating the Peels too. There's nothing against those teams but I'd like to be competitive against the best. The Demons, with a new coach, a change of coaching staff and new sponsors, have found a new belief in themselves and are looking to finish the season as serious contenders for the finals.